kick off the Take Back the Night March, which is a kind of, it's the energetic part of the night where we get to gather with other members of the community and really show that Bozeman stands behind survivors of sexual assault and rape. And it's super fun and super passionate. And uh, next we go down to the Baxter where we will be rocking against rape with men stopping rape. So it's, it's just a really great time. specifically is that we're kind of sick and tired of sexual assault in our town, on our campus, and just in the world. Um, we want to break the silence around sexual assault and sexual violence. So that's what we're doing. We're talking about it. We know that statistically about one in four women and one in six men will experience sexual assault at some point during the lifetime. That's obnoxious. <laughs> that's crazy. And here um, we see the exact same statistics at MSU. Strictly talking about sexual assault, we'll see about 375 women and about 11 men statistically each year alone getting sexually assaulted on our campus. Um, I'm not good with that. Are you guys good with that? I'm no. not good with that. <laughs> so that's what we're doing here. We're trying to create a really inclusive community so that people can come forward and talk about these issues. The average statistic for someone coming forward to talk about their sexual assault for the very first time is five to seven years. Could you imagine having that burden on you for five to seven years? We need to create this community that can come together and talk about these issues the minute they happen, get people the help they need, and start making a change. And that's what we're doing, so thank you so much for being here. It's amazing and heartwarming. I'm so happy. Thank you guys. Hey, hey, ho! Oh.